you work. WBA welterweight champion, Keith One Time Thurman. How you doing, Keith? Doing good, man. Another day here in the gym, working hard. Wow, big times, big times, man. Many years ago, the pro debut in the Ala Cop Pavilion. Who would ever think you're, we're at a place in your career where you're fighting at home in Tampa Bay, Florida, at the Sun Dome, July 11th. Wow, what an honor. Let's talk about that. Well, you know, uh, Ben Getty said it before everybody that I was going to be a champion when I was 14 years old. And um, we, just, we just trained hard, worked hard um, to accomplish our dreams, man. Um, I'm extremely happy and excited to bring a fight back home. You know, this is big for me. Uh, it's going to be uh, another PBC event on ESPN. You know, boxing is making a beautiful shift right now in the world of boxing. I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, ESPN, Joe Tessitore and uh, Teddy Atlas, you know, they're going to be calling the fight. You know, you're fighting a veteran fighter in Luis Calazzo and bringing your game plan into that fight, man. It's going to be a very electric fight, not a boring fight because we know the type of style of fight you bring. Talk a little bit about fight night and your preparation up to that fight. Well, you know, we we put in weeks of work, man. On average, every training camp is a minimum of an eight week training camp. And, you know, I'm looking forward to this fight. Luis Colazzo has claimed in the past that he wanted to fight me and um, he gets his opportunity now. Uh, he's a veteran, like you said, he's a true warrior. He understands the sport. I look forward to uh, what kind of veteran tactics he's going to pull out to try to handle this young lion. But I'm going to bring that uh, ferocious intensity that I bring into the ring. And um, I'm looking forward to stopping Luis Colazzo July 11th. Impressively awesome. You know, here in St. Pete, Tampa, Florida, you know, through the years, legend fighters like Antonio Tarver, world champion, Winky Wright, world champion, Clearly, you know, the torch has been passed. And we clearly know that and understand that. How does it feel to hold that reign? I mean, it's beautiful, man. I grew up uh, watching those champions, you know, uh, watching them, admiring them, you know, picking apart their technique and trying to learn from them. And now that I am where I am today, man, I'm just truly blessed. I know that there's um, young fighters all over America and all over the world that are looking at my skills and talent and trying to mimic me now, um, trying to be the next one time, trying to be exciting. I got fighters that tell me, you know, I, I train hard and I want to get knockouts like you. I want to fight like you. I want to be at the top like you. And um, like I said, man, it, it's just a blessing because I remember being that little boy that looked up and, and now I'm standing at the top of the Walter Wade division. Champ, the WBA crown, you know, having the belt on your, your shoulder, and what does it mean to you being a world champion? It means that all the hard work and dedication, man, all the long uh, road work, all the sit-ups, the push-ups, everything. The year that I had a layoff, you know, the, the moments where I doubted if, if I was going to be able to get back into the ring, man, um, it's just everything is worth it, man. You, you can't give up on your dream. You just got to keep working. You got to keep striving. Sometimes things don't go as planned. You get knocked down. You got to get back up. Um, it's just a blessing, man. I'm so happy. You know, this is this is my life. This is what I love to do. I, I've loved this since I was seven years old. And it, it took a boxing exhibition before I ever learned how to throw a punch. I knew I was already in love with the sport, man. Boxing is a very beautiful sport. It's a great all-American sport. It has great history. And like I said, man, I'm trying to make history. And I'm happy to be a part of the world of boxing and where I am today. WBA world champion. Um, that's just step one, you know. It's my dream to be the undisputed champion of the Walter Wade division. So we're going to keep working hard and diligently every single day. Champ, let's talk about what makes you so unique. Usually after your W's and your wins, not even days later, you're right back in the gym in St. Pete, helping these amateur fighters out. I mean, your heart is with these young fighters, man. I mean, that's awesome. Talk about that and what does that mean to you to help these kids? Well, you know, children are the future. And Ben Getty, you know, he devoted 13 years of his life to a seven-year-old boy. You know, and I'll never forget that. So, it's just something's in my heart. Something that, it's a seed that Ben Getty placed there. I have to give back to the community. Boxing helped me stay off the streets. It helped me stay focused in life growing up. And it's hard out here for a lot of young kids. And so I like to give back. I like, I like to um, see the hope and the future of, you know, passing the torch one day to one of these younger dudes here at St. Pete Boxing. 
You know, we, we have a great history in this one little small gym, and I hope to keep it going. Give a shout out to your fans, Steve. What's up to everybody that loves one time? If you don't love me, I love you anyways. You know, tune in July 11th, your boy Keith Thurman fighting Luis Palazzo here in Tampa, Florida at the Sun Dome. Don't miss it, ESPN. One love. Thank you, Keith.